In health and wealth, if snuffing out the habit of smoking is on your list of making it a healthier new year, Dr. Amanda L. Graham, the Chief of Innovations at Truth Initiative, is here to help. First question, tell us what people can do because smoking is responsible for what nearly a half a million deaths every year, but sometimes people falter with those resolutions by February and March. Nicotine is a very addictive drug. It hits the brain very quickly and uh, it drives the release of dopamine in the brain, which is that feel good chemical that is the reason people get addicted. You know, it's important for people who are trying to quit to keep top of mind uh, that there that there are tools and resources available. We tell people that nobody should try to quit on their own without some kind of support. At Truth Initiative, we run a, a free digital quitting program called X. Uh, we've run this program for over 15 years in partnership with Mayo Clinic. And as part of X, you know, we talk about um, the, the tools and strategies and tips that people can take with them through a quit attempt, uh, understanding what their unique triggers are, developing coping strategies to make it through those situations, those feelings, those circumstances that make people want to use tobacco. Uh, we talk about the importance of medication and, you know, there are a number of medications that are available over the counter, the nicotine patch, the gum, the lozenge. These are all forms of therapeutic nicotine that can make quitting, you know, recreational nicotine that you get from a cigarette much more comfortable and they double the chances of quitting successfully. Does having support help? The other thing that I'll talk about as part of X is our online community. Um, and this is really a unique resource that gives people very powerful support from other people going through the same process. Does quitting e-cigarettes matter and where can people get more help? So the website for our quitting programs is truthinitiative.org backslash quitting. Uh, e-cigarettes are not the answer for young people. For adults who are smoking, they may be helpful to get off a cigarette but nobody should use both products simultaneously. The goal is to not inhale any chemicals into your lungs. Thank you for your tips today. Thanks for having me. Happy New Year. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.